Hello, welcome. So you want a crypto? That's us. All right, today, real quick, short video, XNS. I thought we lost it there for a minute. I come looking at my Qcoin this morning and my app didn't work. I couldn't get my Qcoin desktop app to work. I, I thought I was in trouble. But I think they did some updates. I'm looking on the app, mobile app, and there's a bunch of new stuff. The desktop updated. I see the XNS USD pair is back so happy i'm happy with the price too up to you know touching on nine tenths of a cent knocking on a penny's door again looks like we got lower lows i want to touch on sovereign so i think i maybe misspoke before and talked about this i don't think this is on the blockchain i think it's software and it's something that maybe will be an application wait the the point i want to make to this is right here i think that maybe sovereign will be one of these outlying things and what i'm hoping is that sovereign with visa brings visa money in through one of these networks or somewhere through the software application onto a cloud onto in solar's platform itself right when we look here, we say provide de developers with an easy to use tool to embed digital trust in transactions. I've covered all this before. Again, this is really short. All these will be in the bottom. And this is more of a, a quick update, more on price. And also, Twitter is alive with somebody from InSolar today. So we went from December 22nd all the way to four hours ago. But this Bicky, hopefully I said that right, XNS is, will no longer be on Bicky Exchange. And I think that maybe is because there's no liquidity on there. And honestly, I think all the liquidity would be on Qcoin anyway. So they are live. Price is going up. If you watch out if you're on Bicky. I, I have no idea it, what's the next coin to get delisted or the next exchange to get delisted for XNS. If there is another delisting on another exchange, if they're going to bring back staking on a different exchange, I don't know. I think that was up to Bitmax. I think Bitmax is the one that dealt with the staking. I don't think that had anything to do with InSolar itself. Hopefully Qcoin will stick with it. Usually though, I think Qcoin gives you a, in the past where I've dealt with stuff that was going to be delisted. They give you a warning. I, I don't know if they would, if they were going to do it again, but in the past, I've been warned that your coin's going to be delisted on Qcoin. Not that that's future prediction or anything. And I really, do, I hopefully XNS doesn't get delisted. I'd like to see this thing start gaining some traction. There's a lot of ang angry, angry money coming to the cryptocurrency world too. People lost faith in the stock market yesterday, today. Uh, so don't be surprised for crazy th look at dogecoin who would have thought everybody's pumping dogecoin right now uh the sec is all over ripple so as a another digital protest would they want to pump ripple y you never know I, I don't think that there's any way to predict any of that it could be something completely different and we'll hear about it next week but i would keep your eyes open and look for those kinds of opportunities we're dropping back here already down to 0 0.008. So people are selling again, taking some profit, kind of like they did here. But hopefully, I think this will bounce back a little bit. We're starting to see a little bit. Let's go to... Real fast. just check our market cap I forgot to open this this morning one and a half million market cap 1.8 in trading volume so we got buyers we're up 10% on the hour 42% 24 hours 125% on the week so it may look like ugly and if you got in high it probably feels ugly but time is your friend and so far over time XNS has done well if you've got in at the right time remember cost average buying don't buy in all it here. Maybe if you bought in a little here, or bought in a little here, and then maybe you did buy in a little here, and it, you know, 
you're not getting wrecked all right here. You made some profit off of this, you lost a little on this, and it starts to average out, and hopefully your average is above what you paid. All right, thanks for joining. I'll probably make another video later today, definitely tomorrow. I'm gonna try and do at least one a day. I got a lot on my plate, but I'm setting up a schedule so we can maybe get these on a regular instead of sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the evening. All right, go XNS.